I'm Eamon McEnany, I'm Director of Water Museum of Treasures, which has got five museums in the Viking Triangle in Waterford City. It's Ireland's oldest city. And here in Greyfriars, um, we've got a Museum of Time, which has both the largest collection of Irish clocks in the world. We often don't associate Ireland with technology and technological advancements, but these clocks, when they were made back in the 17th, some of them as early as the 17th century, um, over 350 years ago, um, these were on a par with anything made anywhere else in the world. And by coming here to the museum, you'll actually see not only beautiful clocks and beautiful mechanisms of, of these clocks, we want to show the mechanisms as much as just the cases, but some of the cases are absolutely stunning pieces of of work, of, of cabinetry work. This long case clock here is the largest one in the country. It's, it's nearly nine foot tall. It used to play music, actually chime to music, and there were psalms, of course, religious. Um, it, it was made by a man called uh, Holbert, and um, you, you can see the cabinetry on it is magnificent, but it also, I mean, that's th 300 years old, it's made in about 1720. They made these absolutely wonderful clocks, it told the, the, the month of the year, the day of the week, and then the time in hours, minutes, and, uh, and, and um, that was very advanced at the time. The clock immediately behind me is, 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 um, is a very, very famous clock. Um, it's got a special mechanism that we now all know it's called, it's called an anchor escapement, but what we now hear, a tick-tock in a clock, that is the very first clock to, to have that mechanism that gives that tick-tock sound. But we have lovely manuscript books of early time pieces. We have revolving mechanisms. We've taken the, the, the inners out of clocks so that you can see how, how sophisticated they are. And then upstairs we have a fantastic interactive on about 70 different towns in Ireland that, that where you had clockmakers over the last 200 years. The whole thing with timekeeping time was, of course, it was the whole, it was the, the, the base, the, the genesis of proper scientific investigation to any form of science. It's all about time. You need to understand the timing of things. And, and keeping, being accurate, again, with going to sea, to have accurate time meant safety, accurate time meant that your experiments were correct. So the whole challenge throughout history has been to get accurate time. <laughs> 